Last time, Unlawful Stupid. Uh, it's dark. Uh, last time we split into two different groups. There was myself and split the party. You know the most expert maneuver. Myself and and oh me. Devin doesn't remember I'm here now. his character's name. And your character's name is Ezreal, like off yeah. League of Legends. Uh, yes. Yeah. She she unknowingly brought Teresa to this uh, physicers uh, building. I, I stumbled upon her, and lo and behold, she helped my mama. And my mom is okay. Teresa, everyone, Teresa is okay. And so then we decide, gotta go find my friend Kristoff. She had a rough week, but she's fine. It's called pandering. And, and Israel is 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 oddly interested in this situation as well. I oh. mean, wouldn't you be? So, so hey, I am. Quick question, following up last episode. Hey, Devin, just Ugh, confirm. It's not possible. Whatever's about to come out of his mouth, it's gonna be something <laughs> like, can't the underlying message is. Can't you be a better D and D player than you? No, are? it's not. Go I swear on. To God, it's not. Mm -hmm. I swear to God. Mm -hmm. I only just want to know because, like, I think I think there you're playing. Yep. I, I think you're playing this like an expert, and I just want to confirm for me, Scott Chainsaw, outside of the narrative that's being crafted. He's really you know setting she's up this blind, lesson. right? No, she's not. Ezreal yes, is blind. she is. <laughs> Ezreal's blind. She, no, he's doing it again. Oh, explain it. Ezreal. I'll talking about Teresa. Oh, <laughs> I was like, God, no. my mama no, is not blind. No, oh, but also Star's Teresa. character is blind. Nope, didn't not have not didn't pick it up. Nope. You didn't catch that one. She like. I know she, she keeps like, saying ham fisted over and over again. Sound. My eyes are clouded over. Yeah. Every time you say thinking, about seeing someone, she's like, mm. "Well, she's not leading you anywhere, really." Well, and I was like, I was like "Oh be. God, make sure her eyes are okay." I can't imagine losing. Her. That cool. sucks, man. That sucks. <laughs> 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 Ouch! I love, I love. No, she's not. Teresa's not blind. No, <laughs> I, I was watching. but, a, but apparently Atlas is. Yeah, apparently, Atlas has no fucking idea. We're both blind. For everyone keeping score at home, they met Ezreal and Holbeck. Yes, and she was very interested in utilizing Kristoff and his name for some political purpose. But he was drunk, and Rowan was like, "Not my man." <laughs> <laughs> He did, and he then, defended his honor. Um, also, Kristoff had some stuff going on last episode. It wasn't really important, kind of just like some slice of life stuff. Just a little bit. Um, he got three rings. Like Sonic the Hedgehog. Um, oh, yeah. And, like, Next he, time you get hit. Yeah. And, he, and he reconciled with Pals and their best bros again. Um, in the podcast. It was been great, guys. Yep. Good. Thanks, yeah, thanks everybody, for really good. So this is yep. episode 29. Yep. It's really just like the... Roll credits. Right, we, so we're, we, now we we're going to read off like a long total, list. Right? I'm sure. 69. Yeah. Right. yeah. Awesome. Um, that's all I would get. That's, that's the only mile marker I've been looking for. I'm going to read off all these credits. I want to say thank you to uh, Devin's mom specifically. Um, yep. For fucking him up because he can't say the cuss words I want him to say. Oh, my mom cursed like a sailor. If he had on the podcast, it'd be a totally different story. I can't wait for next for Let's campaign get her. two where, where Devin's mom is <laughs> <laughs> the new guest. From Instead of. <laughs> No, you're there too. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're, you're still there. You're just like in a minor supporting role. Well, we just want like the contrast, right? How cool she is, you. Yeah. That's why Look I'm at this square. <laughs> That's my mom. Um, says that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that. You didn't hear my flawless <laughs> mom impersonation. <laughs> this is me. Oh, Jim's mom. Look at this square. It's like What's I'm in the wrong same room. with her? <laughs> bring, bring, bring me a quart of menthols. It's a blue gator. Oh, no. She, she's a marble <laughs> lady, okay? She's not cheap menthol. Marble menthols. What do you mean cheap wow. menthols? Menthols are more expensive. Every, every, like, all those things are expensive. And, and I just assume Marlboro is a good kind. Person. You know what? Maybe my mom's cheap. Maybe I just thought so no, highly of her. I just smoke menthols she's, she's are the more Paul expensive Malls. brand. Menthol, it's like hey, smokers, not you a brand. Hey, smokers, jokes. They're cheap brands. Anyways. Um, I hate you guys. So. <laughs> good recap. Too. <laughs> That's my favorite so far. <laughs> so accurate on so many levels. To recap, Devin's mom's cool. Devin's Devin. fucking square. Kristoff yeah. <laughs> met his brother. They're this is cool my character now. voice for campaign two. Atlas got his his mom back. Who's who's better than him? Also. And now you have a blind elf friend. And Israel is in fact blind. But 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 Atlas doesn't know. It's imperative that Atlas does not know that. Just include you and Devin. That's fine. Yeah. <clears throat>
He's such a sweet, sweet dumb orb. Oh. <laughs> My sweet, sweet, nice Atlas. Oh, he, he's no, I'm sure he didn't do terrible things. He's just touched by the Lord, that's all that is. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so, uh, we'll pick back up. Um, uh, Christoph, I assume you're departing from Castle Shindo to go look for your uh, compatriots? That's a brave assumption. Um, I you you tell me what you're doing. He kills palace, takes throne. Kills palace, takes throne. <laughs> All right, that makes with sense. With the staff, tar touches okay. the dark torrent, um, becomes the black phoenix. Uh, new mm -hmm. mask, phoenix mask. Um, made of obsidian. Uh, no, let's see. I. I guess we go back upstairs. I'm trying to break this down. We go back upstairs. We slide the throne back into position. Mm -hmm. Um, I had word sent to the sunburnt penguin. Do I wait for them to come to me or do I go to them? I'll go to them. Yeah, I'll go to the sunburnt penguin. I'll go. Well, I'll, to be fair, we didn't actually send word either way. You just talked about what you wanted to do. Like, okay. Obviously, he's going to send the word for Shadow. Right, and I'll and I'll just and I'll I'll, I'll say, hey, I'm gonna go, uh, uh, brother. I'm going to. Um, I'll be in the Sunburnt Penguin. My uh, compatriots have some some rooms there under the name Atlas Farrier, like we talked about. Um, when this sh shadow uh, arrives, you can send word for us there. Uh, of course, uh, you know you are all more than welcome to stay here at the palace. Um. We're going to have some reputation rebuilding to do for you, but now is as good a time as any. I'm more comfortable in taverns these days. Okay. All right. Well, I yeah, I'll send word for you once we hear something back. Thank you. And I will bow again, even though you told me not to, and I'm gonna leave. Uh, okay. So, uh, on your way out of the castle, um, uh, you kind of, like, you're still getting stares, right? Like, sure. people still don't like you. And you kind of bump into a teeth lane with, like, red skin so dark, it's, like, very sickly mistaken for black. And she, like, licks her lips as she, like, looks at you, and she's like, Oh, you all feel this back here? And you recognize this as um, someone like you knew before you left, which is Freya Longclaw, um, which is also a patron NPC submitted to us by uh, Alex Edwards. Ah, Tish. Yeah. Oh, Alexis. Mm -hmm. Neat. Yeah. Um, just one moment. And I'll look down at my father's ring and I'll think to myself, I'm not in charge anymore. Like, I don't have a responsibility to these people anymore, right? And you kind of get, like, this feeling of, like, um, you, you're actually reminded of something that he says, uh, that he said to you a, a long time ago, um, and he had said to you many, many times, but, um, he, he said to you at one point, do you think I love them so little that their betrayal would mean anything? And I will, um... I'll bow low and say a, a thousand pardons. I apologize. And uh, so Freya's got this like long braid running down the back between her two like sharpened horns, and she's like wearing this like fine silk cloth that's kind of like draping off of her body, showing more than a lady should at a court. And she's like, "I don't, I don't need your filth to bow to me. You're, you're a traitor. What are you doing walking around without God?" and shackles. Um, I, I, I do very humbly apologize. I, I have business to attend to. Um, but you should probably put some more clothes on. It's very cold in here. And I'm just going to... Uh... I'm trying to think. Uh, I... I... I want to cast Frostbite. 
I banish her. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> that is how I want to address with most haters. Uh, but we haven't taken a long rest yet, and my spell slots aren't looking super great. Um, like, I could do it, but, you know, I might need that later. Um, so I, I want to cast Frostbite, but I want to do it as, like, a level 1. So instead of doing 3d6, just do, like, 1d6. And I want to do non-lethal, obviously. Okay. You want to cast Frostbite on her? Yeah. I, w- I just want to. I want to chill her. I want to give. Oh, it's so cold in here. You, you. Oh, you're dressed so scantily. You, I want to button. Don't up. you have like a cantrip? Frostbite is a cantrip. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, you, oh, I see what you're saying. You want to downscale it to. Yeah, I just, to, just, just like. Okay. A, just, I'm sorry. Just, when I heard you say level one, I was like, I thought that was a cantrip, but all right. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, um, uh, well, so. Okay, you, I got you know, it. Damage I got scales. Roll range yeah. attack. Uh, it's actually it's a saving up. throw, but. Oh, okay. Constitution. Oh, is, is it save or suck? It's save or suck. Okay. Constitution? Yep. Um, does a 14 beat it? I don't think it so. doesn't. Oh, good. Um, and so you, uh, I mean, she's gonna see you do this, uh, and you cast Frostbrite on her. Um, roll damage. And the NPC's dead. Uh, and she dies. She uh, I, d- I, d- I do I'm, have I'm to kidding. add my charisma modifier to it. Uh, it doesn't matter. You did non lethal either way. Yeah, that's Um, true. yeah, so, uh, you like cast this on her and she like backs up and hisses why would you do that this is why you're exiled oh i no 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 that i'm so sorry that wasn't me i that's like of course it was you i oh i I wouldn't know i'm just a lying serpent um anyway good day (sighs) And like as you're walking away, she's like cussing at you. No, get the straight. This is why I'm on an action. And uh, so you like make your way out of uh, Castle Shindo and um, on to the uh, sunburnt penguin. Sunburnt penguin. Yes. Penguin. Um, and Atlas and Azriel, you guys uh, are walking through the, the snowy town of Silence, and it's it's kind of. It's like like I described for Atlas before. It's beautiful. It has got that like mountain village vibe, even though it's like this big city. Um, uh, Ezreal, like you, you can see like shapes. Obviously, we talked about like how like you have like a the magical ability to kind of like in general locate things. That's how you don't just like go around bumping into things. So you're not getting the like the beauty, the fine details. Um, but you're also not like stumbling around either, right? Canonically, um, I always imagine it kind of like a um, echolocation type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Like I a, mean, using using a combination of magical auras and like maybe some humming to kind of get her bearings and her um, surroundings. Yeah. So if you've seen um, Daredevil with um, with the, the scene it's where it's, it's raining just... and he can see, <laughs> I can see things when it rains. Yeah, exactly. Um, it's just that all the time. Um, but it's like this beautiful mountain village uh, vibe, even though it's a larger city and people are like nice. And I mean, I was they're looking at you a little weird, like, um, but that's I think that's just because like orcs are rare in general. Um, but you're like walking and you kind of bump into this like odd looking uh, birdman and like a like a cheap cloak, and um, he like you like bump into him and he like. And like just like clacking and clicking, and like he looks up to you. and He's got this like book with a, like a finger, and, like a nail, and he's like writing it with his nail, like as a, instead of a quill. And he like looks up to you and he says, "Once breath this clash, a suspicious malfunction shall bring forth an eternal night and the dawn of men." So Ezreal uh-huh. like jerks back from that sudden harsh noise. <laughs> it's like, are you okay, sir? Sir? Question mark? When the moment comes that seas turn to ice, a forest choice shall set forth the rise of immortality in the shedding of blue blood. Uh, I don't even... I don't want to say Ezreal. I, I don't even understand what he's saying half the time. I feel like if I could possibly understand him, perhaps he would be saying something prophetic. When the day comes that the prey kills the predator, a broken promise shall bring forth a new fury and the return of the he does sound pathetic, you are right. Um, and so, uh, 
just tell me what you want to do with this guy. He's like writing the book. It's like he's like like talking to you guys. But um, this is uh, also an NPC from Silver Dusk. Ooh. Hmm. Who wanted an evil kinku? Oh, kinku. Players, oh. you know this. Oh, yeah. that's why. He's a birdman. So I was absolutely imagining a skexy for a second. What'd you call me? <laughs> I'm bringing Skeksky back. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> I don't know how to act. Yeah. Yep. He don't want to hang Yep. I'm writing uh, prophecies. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I want to, I just want to um, say, uh, Israel, I, I'm just going to believe this guy. He doesn't seem to be all together. Uh, yes, perhaps it's better if we, um, don't engage. <laughs> Ooh, Silencing Snowball? Maybe that's, maybe he's hungry. Sure. I'll offer one to him. Um, and so when he, when he do that, he says, uh, I saw it as the Mark of Men! Becomes the Mark of Many! A, oh, a defeat right. shall bring okay. forth no a time of serenity! Oh. And I'm gonna keep on walking. Okay, and as you're walking away, um, he, he says one more. It shall be then when impunity is born, born. The exiled one shall rise to the heavens once more. Gee, I really wish I could understand him. It's probably not important anyway. All right, and you guys continue <laughs> on to the sun burnt being one. Um, thank you for those two NPCs, uh, both of which I had super fun designing, um, when they say the evil tag, that makes it real interesting to put in to the podcast. And he stabs you dead. <laughs> yeah, you walk away, you lower your guard, he just pecks you to death. Ah! Um, I always knew so, that Alice would die to a pecker. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, Christoph, you, you beat them back um, to the Sunburnt Penguin. I'll check out um, the so, Yeah, so uh, you check him with a bar and get a table and drinks, I assume? Yeah, or I'll, a drink. I'll, I'll ask the bartender. Um, excuse me, have you seen um, like a smaller, handsome fellow, um, raccoon skin hat, elf midriff clothes, or like a large uh, orc in like a red suit, white trim? I keep forgetting uh, they're dressed like that. Yeah. And um, so this red skin tiefling, she's like, uh, she's like sitting behind this bar, or standing behind this bar, and she says, um, uh, uh, "Yeah, I think he reserved rooms a few hours ago." But you haven't seen him, him and since a friend. Were... Oh, I no, I they haven't come and come back that I've seen. Maybe they went up to their rooms, but I didn't see them. Hey, do I know that they're here? I just realized this is a continuity error. Do I know they were here? Did we make this plan? Hmm. <gasps> yes. Did did that happen? I want to say that it did, but maybe just... erase all this. Erase it. No. No, I think you guys, like, she guys, like, did the wink, wink to, like, meet. Right, but we didn't specify... I think it's they an assumption that you the... would have, like... I think he's making an assumption as Kristoff to go to the Red Roof. That's fair. I don't think sure. Okay, okay. okay. Sure. okay. I think it's certainly, like, it's damn near fucking close, but I think it's, like... Sure, it makes sure. sense. They know yeah, each other as friends. Meet. That's where they... Yeah, yeah that's yeah. where they always meet. Yeah. Uh, okay. So so let's let me just take a little bit of different. Let me just take a little different take on that. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. Uh, so you you haven't happened to have seen like a young handsome male with like a raccoon skin hat and like a midriff exposed and then like a large uh, white orc wearing like a red suit with white trim. Why is it gotta be a white? Or- <laughs> um, uh, he your song and says. Uh, what, they just reserved rooms a, a few hours ago. Oh, f- fantastic. Uh, very good. Okay. So they, they made it their way. Um, all right. Uh, if I could, uh, get, um, three tiefling waters, four tiefling waters, two for me, um, a garden salad, um, whatever meat you have available with potatoes, and, um, three loaves of that, uh, black bread that I like so much. Of course, of course, it's, uh, and she kind of leans in. Most people wouldn't say this, but it's good to see you back. Oh, um, thank you. Of course, oh, and oh. she, like, 
goes off to uh she doesn't even try to get money from you she just goes off and starts um preparing drinks and stuff and so uh atlas and uh ezreal you guys approach um the sunburnt penguin which is the red roof and you kind of see the red roof like a little below the the patches of sun or patches of snow and it's like this two-storied um red roof van and it's it is made of cobblestone and like old like almost like driftwood but it's not it's just like ruined and aged wood that was like built upon um and it like it makes you th- it makes you think of home right like it just it feels welcoming um just because every red roof inn makes you feel at home and this one especially it wasn't like built up from nothing it was built onto something and so like it just you feel encompassed by warmth as you like walk through the the doors to kind of see like tiefling on tiefling on tiefling with like an elf here and a dwarf there and then your your gaze falls upon Kristoff, who's I assume sitting at a table mm-hmm. with all of like just like this fucking cacophony of food and drinks by himself. I'm just, I'm sipping on a tiefling water and uh, eating some bread. Uh, does he is he like facing us as we come in, or do we uh, like, no, his, see him? Uh, I would say you're facing him, right? Like you would be expecting, right? That's your choice. Yeah, I'd be looking at the door. Okay, okay. yeah. So you, um. You guys both see each other. Cool. I'll say, uh, oh, Israel, there he is. You see him? That's Kristoff. <laughs> Ginge, can you, like, make a harder, like, <laughs> noise for me? I need it. I need it. I need, like, a wah, wah, wah noise right now. Wah, wah, wah. I got you. Oh, my God. Uh, What's wrong with that? Uh, hey, um... Can oh, because she's blind. Shame, oh, I because she's blind. I, yeah, okay. I, I I forgot that he didn't know. Uh, no, I, oh. I feel like that's when you saying that. That's when she like kind of puts a hand on your arm, but she's been like kind of you know holding on to your cloak this whole time to follow you. She puts a hand on your arm. She goes, Atlas, I uh, I appreciate the sentiment, but you realize I'm blind, right? Oh, and with his good eye, will turn and look at you and. Like I'm, I'm gonna. He waves a hand in front of your face. She kind of laughs. <laughs> in the kingdom of the blind, the one-eyed orc <laughs> is king. Uh, hey, uh, <laughs> can I roll any roll that exists within Dungeons and Dragons to try to see if I remember her or if I was too drunk? Uh, <laughs> you, can roll a hi- you can roll a drunk um, roll. You can roll a history. Seventeen. You remember just fine. Nice. You don't remember the contents of your conversation, but you remember exactly who she is. Yeah. That you met her in Holbeck, and you remember um, her name. <laughs> you see Atlas waving his hand in front of her face. <laughs> uh, I love the idea of her going, I'm blind, and him, blind to the evils of the world, blind to... I, I don't understand. Explain the blind we're justice. All, we're, we're all blind to <laughs> something. Oh. Yeah. We all have our vices. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I did... I, I don't even know what I didn't... Uh, anyway. It, it, it's alright. It's it's alright. I mean, have you always been this way, or did, did something terrible happen? <laughs> That's when you feel like... That was a HIPAA violation! <laughs> okay? <laughs> Shit! Ezreal casts the ninth level spell HIPAA violation! <laughs> Certifications are revoked. Like, she was taking this very much like a, oh, this is very amusing, until you ask that question, and that's when her face kind of drops, and she's like, it's, uh, that's a long story. Well, can I get you a drink? And maybe we forget about this whole conversation. That sounds perfect. What uh, are you doing? <laughs> I, and then I, like, don't know what to do, so I, like, Come on in, sit down, and, like, Atlas. Walk. I'm, I'm, okay, all right. Where's Rowan? I, he, I don't know, he's supposed to be back. Uh, we, I found Teresa with, with uh, my my comrade here, uh, Ezreal. Ezreal, this is Kristoff. Kristoff, this is Ezreal. We met. Yes, uh, Chris Toff, was it? Yes, in Holbeck. Yes. Yes, I recall. 
I remember everything that happened that night. Do you now? I sure do. Why wouldn't I? Okay, this is weird. Hey, can you give me a rainbow? Uh, I get a I rainbow just, ball, I please. slide the tiefling water over to Yeah, this will do. Oh, I haven't seen Rowan, though. Uh, he, he's supposed to be back here. We've split up to find um, my mama. And so I found her. I guess he didn't, so he might still be out looking. And she's <laughs> well? She, no, she's she had been captured. Technically, she, I found her. By the fiends. I don't know how she got released. There, there, there's a whole slew of questions there. <laughs> Azrael, she's, she's also blind, in case you didn't know. The <laughs> obvious. Um, well, then she, she just said she found her. I don't get that part. You can find <gasps> people with things. You know what? I'll, t- I'll explain to you later. Okay, um, yeah, yeah. Anyway, so she's she's at the uh, uh, the physicals. Okay. She's in she's in good hands, and I told her to return here uh, on my dime. She'll have a room when she get when she's prepared to. Oh, very good. Well, like, and you f- you found your brother? I yeah, assume? it's pretty easy to find. He's in the big house with the with the big chair in the middle. Well, things went well because you're all still here. Um, things went better than I expected. Things are pretty good. Our very important diplomatic mission, I think any, in all eyes of everyone, was a roaring success. Oh, cheers! And I'm going to hold up a yes. drink. I'm going to hold my drink up toward uh, Ezreal. And <laughs> I will push a drink into her hand and d- daintily hold her by the wrist as I... No, no, pull. she takes it and she clinks okay. it. She just kind of laughs for a second first. <laughs> Uh, She's yes, back to being uh, amused. <laughs> that's it calls for celebration for sure. Uh, yeah, I guess Rowan's gonna miss dinner. Um, you're an elf. You like salad, right? <laughs> it might seem like we are pretty racist in terms of you looking like all the other elves and must be lacking salad. You, you know, hey. I was um, I was going to gloss over that, but it, it's getting a, a little heavy-handed now. Well, elves like yeah, salad. Well, They're produ- It's not. It's a matter of physiology. The body produce they, they process plant matter better than they do meat. Yes, yes, the way that I, it is. I do enjoy a salad. However, I do think that this is, um, for, this is for you. You might have been it's bluffing when you salad. said that you remember everything. I oh. mean, you're right. I was very drunk. <laughs> Look, I'm not. I'm not a full. I'm not a full elf. I'm actually an Asimar. Asimar. Oh, you would know better than me. <laughs> I pronounce it ASMR. I've also heard it Asimar. I have no idea. No, I'm just saying it's in, in character. I don't know how to pronounce it. In right character. Um, uh, oh. What does that mean? Well, it means that our grandparents don't like each other. Oh. You could say that. Well, at least you know your grandparents. Mm, I never said that. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Well, I mean, I know Melchior Shindo, but I, I was referring to more descendant answer. Um, so, just so you know, Atlas, um, tieflings are descended uh, from infernal beings, uh, demons and devils, um, crossbreeding with uh, humans, um, usually mm. not favorably for the human, um, and then that produces the race of tieflings. Teeth- this is how we are what we are. Um, and then Azima are the exact same thing but with celestial beings, angels, devas, that kind of thing. Uh, so... Hmm. Two sides all, of the same yeah. coin, if you will. That's a good way to explain it. Interesting. So I brought you this salad. <laughs> <laughs> brought you this salad, and this is tiefling water. Um... And I guess we'll wait here for Rowan. Hmm. Can you... Could you send word to him to let him know so he's not spending all day looking? Um, if he's within... 120 feet, I can. Oof. <laughs> let me do a quick scan. Red, hot, negative, partner. Unless he's outside listening well, in, like- I don't think he's... Cl- I'll just cast a message real quick. Target Alex. Or target uh, Rowan. <laughs> uh, 
The Target Alex. If you're trying to reach at this time is not available. Please get a no. message in. He's not. He's not. Oh, he's not okay. around. Don't wait for the beat. Nobody ever listens to it. Um. I mean, I pull out the coin. Hey, Avia. Still static. Hmm. Uh, well, so what do we do now? I mean, you, you talk to your brother, and what came of that? Oh, they're going to um, get message to Findle and Frost to find Ooh. out. Um, what we need to do about so um, might we catch Israel? Israel, what are your plans? Are you, are you stay, sticking with us? Or considering I didn't, I didn't have any plans after leaving the Physicars where I, you know, brought Teresa. Um, I'm open. Could you give us just a moment? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> uh, so, so she, I assume you walk away, or do we walk away? I guess we walk away, huh? <laughs> That's, that would be rude for yeah. me. <laughs> Just leave Listen, it with salad. We're, we're, we're super racist. We don't like elves, and we for damn sure don't like. Elves. Well, I don't want her to like trip right, over right. a stool or anything. So we'll walk away. Um, and 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 even then, when we get when we get pretty far away within the tavern, still, I'm still gonna cast message um, to communicate because I assume she's got like crazy good hearing. Okay. Some magical whispers, um, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let them know what happened. Um, hey, sorry, sorry to pull you aside. I'm, I'm not sure, sure if we can trust her or not. Uh, she seems fine, but um, this is kind of a state secret kind of thing. I'm not even sure if I should be telling you, um, but um, silence, of course, of course, uh, is the root of all evil in the world. Uh, namely. Um, there's a whole tear in the torrent here, which is actually what caused all the doors to be able to be opened in the first place um, for those fiends. Um, and we have to close it. Um, but there's like a bubble around here, which is keeping kind of everything in. So if we let the bubble down to let the troops from Orenthal in, then they'll be able to get out. But maybe we need them inside, but maybe we don't. Maybe we just go belly the beast again, you know? I don't know exactly how we would close the door, because... Um, one of our one of our descendants, um, he, one of my descendants, uh, was um, he turned into a lich, and now he lives in a staff. Not really sure what's going on with that, but that's not good. Um, and apparently, Findle can't just nuke him like he did. <laughs> like he would with another cursed object. Um, <laughs> and um, yeah, so that's kind of where we're at. Yeah, um, that's a lot to, to take in, I guess. Sure. So, drop the barrier, bring the army in, but also let the creatures out. But aren't they, they're already outside of the bubble. Anyway. Yeah, they're in those, they're, well, well, I think that maybe they're being contained largely here. Maybe they got the bubble up late after a bunch had already gotten out, or maybe there's another door out there, but I feel like there's like a big door in here which is kind of closed so, off by the bubble so let me help atlas you would canonically know that there are multiple doors across goron right because you have closed a bunch yeah. yourself um so that, like you know it's not the only door so i'll give you that information like as a recent because you would know that as atlas well maybe what if they're all connected you know when i was going around for two years what i realized is yeah, oftentimes the monsters could go back into the door obviously and then come out anywhere so what if there's a hub yeah there is it's, it's the if you destroy the hub so it makes that's what we're talking that about the hub is here in, in yeah. silence yeah yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. that's, that's what your I get there as well. tear mm -hmm. so what if we repair the tear first take care of everything in the butt but we I, can't get the army inside. here's the problem though i left my sewing mm -hmm. kit in oxbane so I don't, I don't know how we fix the tear. But you've been there before. You've gone into it, survived, and oh, you mean friends. the torrent? No, 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 no. That is a bad idea. No, I cannot explain to you how horrible of an idea that was. I was trying to commit suicide, and it was—it had almost worked, and it was unbearably painful. And no, mm -mm, no, not a good call. My grandpa lives there. Well. <laughs> Make a house call and ask the old man to help you out one last time. Oh, wait. No, wait, 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 wait,
glorious, beautiful bastard. Make a house call. I don't know. I, I'm not tracking. You're gonna have to help me out. I have an. I have an. I have an. I have an idea. Andrin lives inside the torrent. He knows more about the torrent than anyone. He is the god of magic, and from his domain it springs. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So if we could. Contact build a house. Him. Oh, build a contact house. tip. Contact Andrew. Build, contact him. I need. Right, no surprise to anyone. I need Findle. Because the medallion. Because the medallion. And he's outside the bubble. He's not that far away. Yes. I mean, <laughs> yes. Um, well, we're waiting now. There's uh, also the the shadow of Goron is here. He's like um like a bird headed man who is always there um to to know within the, the most turbulent times of of Goron and uh, say that part again. The most turbulent uh, times. No, nope. a bird headed. He's like a bird headed man. man. He's like cloud, clo- cloaked in shadow. I. He's, he's not a king coo. <laughs> is that what you're... He's, he was a bird, and he had on a cloak. Well, <laughs> by, by Jove, he's found him. Let's go get him. He's basically shouting things at me about the end of times. There's only one kinku ever, so... That's, That's true. true. That's what Atlas thinks. You can't even tell you're blind. It's fine. Aww. <laughs> that was Every a kinku, kinku she says. Meets is the only kinku. I met you the other day. <laughs> Hello, Nartork. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Greetings, oh. Greetings, not work. Not work. Okay, not work. so work. <laughs> we need to get a message to your your grandfather via the. Okay, so what what do we do? Uh, we're just going to wait here until we receive word that the shadow has r- arrived back at the palace, and then we will go there. Oh, and Rowan should be here tonight, so we'll, we'll be ready to go. We'll have perfect. The crew. Perfect. 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 Now, what about Israel? How do you want to? Move I mean, I. With her? I, I wanted to keep like kind of this a secret because you know it's like a state secret or whatever. <laughs> um, but um, she's got to come. Probably too. just I mean, kill her. <laughs> well, we need all the help we can get. She can super come. I just this is kind of a conversation. And then oh, you know, got I got you. Yeah, understand. All right. We'll, we'll talk to Palace later. Maybe Palace doesn't care if we fill her in, but it's not really my call. Understood. Um, I love the idea and Brett, Brett calling that and <laughs> Christoph. Message Atlas talking out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, that's not what happened, but that would just be great, the greatest. Oh yeah, what do we do with her? <laughs> do we kill her, Kristoff? Do we kill As her? He looks <laughs> I'm staring Greg, but she can't see. That's what y'all wanted to do in Holbeck. I don't know. I was, I was, I was, I was part I'm of that decision. Staring Greg, that her, she can't see. <laughs> that was all Rowan. Yeah. Uh, uh, also, Rowan doesn't like her, so maybe when he gets here, just. I don't know, maybe they'll do for my honor or something. I don't know, that'd be crazy. Maybe they'll banish her. Ooh, dueling banjos. Dueling banjos. So yeah, we well, go back over the table now. Well, You guys back. do that and <laughs> yeah. you joined. Yes, um, of course. Uh, sorry, just a quick little uh, housekeeping thing we had to take care of. Um, but yes, we would be very delighted for you to join us. Um, and... Now, forgive me if I'm wrong, I don't remember quite everything. Um, the gist of it that I got was you had some need of me. Now, I don't know if I would call it a need. Mm-hmm. But I was certainly interested in your supposed... Uh, I totally lost the word. Heritage. Royal, yeah. Oh, well, I can. I, I have the entire Shindo line memorized, so I can tell you whatever you want to know. It's not so much I want to hear a family tree. It's that. I mean, y- you know how it is with, um. With monarchies and such, not everyone is always happy with the way things are run. Sure. And so I just was curious about perhaps getting a glimpse into what is actually going on. Well, I've been removed for the last two years, so I couldn't exactly tell you much. Um, Well, my thought was that you would be a good ticket inside. Oh, sure, coattails, I got you, no worries. 
Come on in. I know the guy. I know the guy who runs the place. All right. <laughs> we shared a womb. At the, the, the same time? Okay. Did no. 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 Okay. no, they're not twins. That's what makes that statement real weird. We still <laughs> shared our womb. <laughs> we have a womb in common. We do! Don't laugh. <laughs> I love that. I'm just gonna like snicker and Shane's like, I'm gonna double down. We do. We <laughs> shared it. This it's is real true. important to you. Listen, I, I'm not stepping on your character's backstory. If it's important that you shared a womb, that's fine. <laughs> what did the What did the baby say when it was ready to be born? Get out of my womb. Get. I'm in a womb. Is this a womb? Womb over. I'm out of my womb. What did the baby say when it was ready? Just let me tell my joke. What did the baby okay, say when it was ready to be born? What did it say? What did he say? Wet me out of this womb! I have another suggestion. If I don't have fan uh, art of Kristoff in a diaper saying that, I'm going to be exists. disappointed. Oh my God. Just out of Dude, well, Lance, Lance no, did baby in versions. No, well, in a no, diaper. No, this one, this one, is, it's it's like a copper tone baby Kristoff with his diaper being. Oh, pulled that's out. being pulled by a dragon. That's some, dragon. that's an oldie but goodie. I forgot about that. You one. just throw a speech bubble on there. Wet me out of this womb, and it's great. My suggestion is uh, adding a, the cricket sound effect um, when no one laughs. laughs. In the rest of the podcast. Well, no, the, the people, the people listening. At, yeah, Avon, do that. People listening oh, at home sorry. won't be able to hear the crickets over their own roar, raucous laughter. So, mm -hmm. probably <laughs> <not really. laughs> <laughs> what this womb? Love. That's the best joke <laughs> I've ever heard. You know, like in uh, like acts where they get the big hook and they send the stick out and like hook you back in. <laughs> I came on that three minutes ago. Like, oh. like battle axe. So you guys are gonna wait at the red roof inn? Did yeah, I wait up. I'm worried about my. About, yeah, about for yeah. Okay, just making sure I didn't want to like cut off any social interaction there. <clears throat> um, Crickets. Yeah. So you well, guys, tell me everything about you, Ezreal. Uh, oh, we're doing this now. <laughs> okay, yes. I'll tell you what. We'll play. We'll play a game. We'll make it interesting. It's a drinking game. Everybody, get your drinks. Oh, got it. It's this should go Two well. Truths. And a lie. We're going to say two true things about who you are, and one lie, and we're going to try to guess what the lie is. And if we guess it, you have to drink. And if we don't, we guess wrong. We'll have to drink. So you guys spend the the rest of the night getting to know each other, um, kind of like chit chatting back and forth. And I'll let you guys discuss canonically what you share with each other um, next episode or off air, whatever. Um, um, but you spend, you're listening to the music of the tavern, you're eating good food, you're drinking however much you choose to drink, and you spend the night at the Red River Van. Um, and, like, you're waiting for both Rowan to return and word to arrive from a palace that uh, Findel and Frost have received a message. Uh, but you don't receive word. Tonight, it's not until the following morning that you find out uh, that you get a message from Palace stating that not only did the shadow of Goron get the message out, that Findel and Frost are at Castle Shindo waiting for you. And that's where we're going to end the episode. But yeah, so that's where we're going to end the episode. Uh, and the next time we'll pick up, uh, you guys will be headed back to Castle Shindlesson to meet up with Pendle and Rostorino. I think that's implied, my dude. Um, they'll fucking find out over <laughs> time. Next time. Whoa, um, whoa. So, uh, yeah, so let's do a roll for humanity, my dude. I would love to. It is $15, and $15 is going to... Yeah, what's our draw charity? The charity for the month of July is... Earth Justice. That sounds epic. What's what Earth that, Justice, Jason? you say? Yes. They say that the Earth needs a lawyer. 
Because in this day, with increasing pollution and the planet being hotter than it's ever been before, global warming is a real, clear, and present danger to our livelihood and the livelihoods of all future generations of this planet. There is no Earth 2 electric boogaloo. I googled it. <laughs> Earth Justice is the charity. They're receiving $15 from us, and I'm pretty sure that's $15 that's gonna save the planet, so you're welcome. That's what puts it over the edge of being able to be saved. Yeah, it's like, oh, fuck, man, if we didn't have that $15, it was going to be Armageddon. But because we hit that $15, we're good. So, actually, we don't need to roll anymore this month. Um, <laughs> yeah, they already saved the whole They, they met great. the goal of... We literally just rolled for We're getting humanity. medals. We're we just rolled for the whole humanity. Like, and all the dogs and some of the cats. <laughs> some of them ain't going to make it. Cat manatee. I don't think... I, don't, I think it's just... Shh. Okay. <laughs> Goldfish manatee. <laughs> Manatee, uh, no. manatee. <laughs> manatee, manatee. <laughs> I do want to say very clearly and on the record, uh, fuck goldfish. And <laughs> I, Don't if, forget about it in just a few seconds anyway. If, if I was locked again. in a room with a goldfish... And in a womb? If I was locked in a womb, in a womb? With, with a goldfish and Adolf Hitler, and I had a gun <laughs> with two bullets, shoot. I would shoot the goldfish so in the genitals twice and why? let Hitler yeah. live. That's how much I hate goldfish. Yeah. They're not made of gold. What a dumb fucking name. I collected like <laughs> well, 30 of those things. Sauce. I went to the pet store <laughs> when I was a kid and I bought 30 of those some bitches thinking, take this Roslyn capital. Yeah. I'm going to be uh-huh. the next mogul. And they come to find out. <laughs> you got to feed those fuckers. They worth nothing. <laughs> they were the Jack's Diddly Squad. <laughs> I was like, oh, they, they, I said they grow to the size of their environment. I read that in a book. They grow, they grow to the size of their environment. I know yeah. where I'll put them. The sky, as I threw them into the air. Guess what? They didn't grow to. Giant sky. goldfish made of gold. <laughs> they just fucking if fell you, down and died. If you turn the world upside down, the sky becomes the ocean. Fell Everybody down. Knows that. They fell down, flopped four to twelve times, <laughs> and died. Each year, everyone. I went, through, I went through all thirty. Think it'd be a different result. <laughs> How long did that take? Moments. About 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> and none of them turned into a Gyarados. None of them turned into a Gyarados. I didn't have my EXP share on. You That's what... Look, get the EXP share on again. I'm going to go turn my go EXP share on. I'm going to go fish. to the pet store. <laughs> I want to buy all your goldfish. Can I buy all your goldfish, please? No, I feel uh, like you're just going to bring me a lot, but I want all your goldfish. I, I, I don't think you heard me. <laughs> so what you do is you take the goldfish and you throw the goldfish at the rats. That's how you level them up. Yeah, that's how you that's level them up. Tackle! Them up. Okay, that makes sense. <laughs> uh, so that this has been great. Uh, yeah, outro. Great. Enjoy all of this. Um, we left Pokemon. This, this, this outro has been brought to you by Pokemon Sword and Shield. <laughs> uh, sponsor. I'm calling my shot. By the time this episode comes out in July. Sponsor of the show. Oh, wait a second. Wait, 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 no, actually, this is important. Hold on a second. Hey, uh, so last week something really important happened, because I looked in the future. Last week something really important happened. Um, we had a birthday of a longtime fan of the show that doesn't get enough credit that I do want to give a shout out for their birthday, because it really is, it's very important to us. Um, probably the earliest supporter of the show, probably the number one um, fan of the show, uh, happiest of birthdays to America. <laughs> What's it? Bye! Well, no, no, I still have some <laughs> things to say. Uh, hey, hey, did you know that you can get a Perfect. free audiobook of your choice by going to audibletrial.com slash lawful stupid? Uh, I no. didn't. Well, you should because we've been talking about it. Um, Mm. Did, I you know, recommend. did you know you can get a free bag of dice by going to Critical Role? Not Critical Role. You can go Whoa. by going to Critical Role. <laughs> you probably go there too. They Don't go there, they're a competitor! Dice. You can go to criticaldice.com. They have an endless bag of dice that's dice into your door every month on the month. And they send you dice. And if you use the coupon code Lawful Stupid, one word, all caps, you won't get that first bag of dice for free. All you gotta do is pay shipping, baby. That's I'm going to go get mine gift. right now. You'll give from us to you. <laughs> uh, and did you know that Drawicon is in a week? Yes, I did know that. 
I did know that. And did you know that if you're not there, like Devin's mom always says, "Y'all fucking square." <laughs> <laughs> and also, I hate you. And also, why couldn't you be your sister? That's weird because she's there. I don't know. Uh, first of all, did Devin, you know you're legally born your sister? Um, go ahead. Did you know that we have a a, a, pa- a Patreon and that by simply giving a measly old dollar a month. Stupid dog. You get extra content that we put out. Did you know did you know that, that dollars statistically, like this is just this is just facts, have Nazi boner boogers on them? Like each dollar <laughs> really thought. each physical cash dollar statistically, like just because of the way it's been in circulation, have Nazi boner boogers on them that if you touch, you will be a Nazi with AIDS. So instead, send that dollar electronically. Don't make contact with it. Send it to we us. We don't want it. <laughs> send don't send it to us either. With bitcoins. To <laughs> our Patreon. At patreon.com slash lawful stupid. I really thought Devin was going to plug the $100 tier to be oh, funny. And then he goes, did you, what did you know dollar? A hundred did of you those, know? A hundred of those dirty Nazi boner booker dollars. <laughs> That I don't curse. And if you go to our Patreon right now, there's a $100 tier. And for $100 a month for a consecutive 12 months on the anniversary of your giving, I will say the curse word of your choice. Uh, question. And to be fair, he never limited that. So, like, you could just say... Exclude really GG. Long... What? No. No, yes. I'm not going to cross that line. You're just like, fuck shit, damn bit. Like, it's all one word. Like... Oh, okay. One, a new okay, grammar, design, grammar, which grammar is, nonsense. Is, yeah. Which is a Voltron-like a, combination. Of a all cuss the word of my choice. I you, you get the okay. So here's what you my get favorite wizard. You get to type it out. I'm gonna throw it into Microsoft Word and run spell check on it and like let it, let it separate and then whatever. Well, that's not fair. Is. If they try to put a fuck, it's gonna come back as duh. We add a baby eats a boy, but with curse words. Yeah, add a baby eats a boy. Uh, fuck you, stupid shit cunt. Um, <laughs> Okay, hey, Whoa. does uh no? That's, that's hey. Uh, did you does your not swearing <laughs> let you say the term Nazi boner boogers? <laughs> yeah, I can say that. Okay, can you give me just let me get a quick rip of that? Nazi boner boogers. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, did no, you, I'm ruined. Did you know that Ginge will take that and use it against me? <laughs> <laughs> because that's, that's Shane the new hit you. remix from Ginger Loaf. Nazi boner boogers. Uh, did you know that if you go onto Twitter, which is a, I'm told, a social media application on the information superhighway, Inter- interwebs, yeah, uh, information superhighway, thank you. Uh, you can tweet about the show using the hashtag #StupidCast, and if you do that, I will sing your name. I will work your name or your username into song. Live during one of these outros. It, it'll probably sound something like, you I'm wrong. so glad that I'm alive in the same world as Nazi Boner Booger 65. Because I assume that's somebody's Twitter handle. It I is now. Assume. It is now. Oh, Somebody, no. Somebody's going to be like, I love this show. Let me make my Twitter handle about Waffle Stupid, the most deep inside joke that only the true fans will get. Nazi Boner Booker 60. <laughs> Just wait. It'll be all over the Discord. Oh, no. Wait. Oh, no. <laughs> it will be. Oh, no. Every, everybody's Discord Stars handle is Nazi, right Nazi, Nazi Booker <laughs> Booger. Nazi use Booger the hashtag. Boogers. See if somebody's used that hashtag. Probably not. Nazi boner. If you use the hashtag Nazi no, boner boogers, you talk you'll about be Nazi, one of the f- Nazi boner If you're this anyway. far into our outro, now that our outro is half the length of our actual episode, <laughs> I applaud you for being 20 minutes deep into a long ass outro. Which you you know, know what? If you're if you're this far in, you can go to the Discord. Did you know we have a Discord? And you can go there and PM me, DM me. And I always give you a dad joke. If you, if, if you DM me, your name's Dwayne, and you're part of the Lawful Supercast. <laughs> <laughs> if you DM Star, what do you, Star, what you got? Um, bad puns. Bad pun. You that I bad, myself bad. am ashamed of. If you, D, if you DM me and you use the coupon code Nazi Boner Boogers, I will, uh, I will... 
tell you that you should work harder to achieve your goals because you're not doing it right now. And, I and you'll also be hunted down by the government. You'll also be hunted down by the government. Of, <laughs> of the government of Germany. Because you've um, they had they hid their Nazi gold and their boner boogers in the same place. <laughs> and they're going to think that you're, that you're on to them. They're going to come for you. So good luck. Yeah. Yavol. All right. Mine hair. Did you know this is the end of the episode? And, the, and, and most importantly, <laughs> did you know... Remember the part when I said bye earlier? That's when my audio cut out. Did, did, <laughs> did, most importantly, did you know that we love you? Bye! Bye! bye. bye. Yeah, you are great. <laughs> Makes me happy. <laughs>